So, last week, we did, so the last time you saw us, we did the fake band, real band challenge that we made up, but now, we're taking it one step further. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my turn to get revenge. Spencer has compiled a list of five fake TV shows and five real TV shows, and he's going to put me to the test, and I'm all taped up, ready to go, so let's just get started. Also, I get, also we are in the same backdrop as we were last time, except the bookcases are here now, so that's different. So, yeah, that's different. Yeah, so, basically, the tape is still here. Basic, here, I'm going to list off the titles for these ten TV shows. I'm going to list off the plots to the ten TV shows. And, I'm, and where applicable, I'm going to list off the st celebrity stars of these TV shows. Ready? Ready. Alright, first TV show is Swing, wait for it. A man finds himself hurled back to the 1920s and uses this opportunity to, pl to play banjo in a swing band while fighting organized crime syndicates. I'm going to say that's real. No. Okay. Uh, you could have overacted like I did, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Alright, number two, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. In this adaptation of the movie, newlyweds Adam and Hannah deal with the antics of Adam's large family with each episode ending with a new song. That is definitely true. That is definitely real. That is indeed real. Alright, number three, A Young Doctor's Notebook. Dan Daniel Radcliffe and John Hamm play the young and old versions of the same character in this miniseries revolving around a young doctor in the early 20th century. I actually know that is real. Damn. Alright. Beats with Biz Marquee. In this sh children's show, rapper Biz Marquee teaches kids to beatbox along with important lessons in the value of friendship. That's definitely real. You came up with that? That was a segment on Yo Gabba Gabba, but I expanded it into a television show. Ah, uh, interesting. Adam's Family Kids, in the animated spin-off we see the childhoods of Gomez, Fester, and Morticia. That is definitely real. What? I made that up! Completely? Wow, cool. Alright, number six, Buddies, a home improvement spin-off starring Dave Chappelle. That is definitely fake. <laughs> oh, that's real. Yep. Dave Chappelle starring a home improvement spin-off? Indeed. That sounds stupid. <laughs> number seven, a Ford... Number seven, Ford Nation, a talk show hosted by former Toronto Mayor Ralph Ford. That is definitely fake. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> you are losing right now. The Young Riders, Stephen Baldwin and Josh Brolin starring this drama about the Pony Express. I'm gonna go fake. Ow! That hurt a little bit. Damn, I should've pulled the other arm! Alright. Number nine, Blackout. A trivia game played entirely in the dark. It's fake. Alright, that is fake. Okay. And number ten, A Wind Named Amnesia. In a post-apocalyptic future, 1999 to be exact, everyone in the world loses their memory and reverts to their more primal state due to a mysterious wind. I say that's fake. You're right. Holy crap, you're good at this. Because that was indeed an anime, a crappy anime movie. Do not find it. Do not find, seek it out. It is crap. Alright guys, that's it. I win. I got four pieces of tape. I, technically, I win because if you lost six to four. Well, that's, a, that's why. I, that's why the six tape works because the winner. But whatever. All right, guys. Well, that's it for this week. I'm gonna rip this tape off now, and then hopefully we'll have something a little different for you guys next week, next time. But until then, always remember, never forget. Painter's tape doesn't hurt. Use duct tape. Yeah. Bye, guys. Oh.